Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. Oh wait, green screen. Okay, that's better. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my trailer review for, excuse that sound by the way, and welcome to my trailer review for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. And yes, I am wearing my Batman and Superman shirt just for specifically this trailer review. I actually loved the Comic Con trailer. I never got to do a video of it. I wish I did because man, would I actually be more happier in that trailer review than in this one. So yes, I have to be honest with you guys. I was very disappointed by this trailer. Now this trailer is not bad. I don't think it's bad. The editing, however, it is really sloppy, but the trailer overall, it's fine. There are things I liked about the trailer. I really enjoyed specifically the first one minute of this trailer, which is just Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne just confronting each other. You know, they're having their little banter, and it was really interesting. I was like, ooh, this, is, this trailer is getting off to a really good start. And then, you know, Bruce Wayne, he tells Clark Kent about how he's had a history with clowns. And then the two of them just look at each other. And I'm all like, oh boy, it's rising up. It's rising up. And then... Mm. Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. Ah, I love it. I love bringing people together. How are we? Lex. Hi, hello. Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow, wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. Ugh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, yeah, then from there the trailer became not as interesting. The cringe was real when Lex Luthor popped up, like, oh my goodness. Not to mention that my biggest problem with this trailer is the editing. The editing after that random Lex Luthor scene happens, that's when the trailer starts to all of a sudden feel so bloated and so rushed. To me, it just felt like the marketing team was in a rush to get this trailer out. So basically what they did is just grab a bunch of random clips and just stamp them all together, plus randomly look for an epic score to just stamp onto the trailer and then just have sloppy editing and then boom, there was your trailer. It did feel like they spoiled a lot of the movie and then not to mention some of the visual effects didn't look that great they look kind of obvious there were times where visually the movie looked really great the trailer I meant but then there's other times where it didn't look that great in all honesty like the green screen looked a little bit obvious here now what I liked is like when Superman and Batman are fighting against each other all of the fight sequences we see between Batman and Superman those were really cool moments. Even if it felt rushed because of how sloppily edited this trailer is, it was still really cool to watch those moments. And then you do have that big old explosion when Doomsday sprayed those lasers. Um, that big explosion looked really epic followed by Wonder Woman actually appearing out of nowhere. Then that's when you see Batman and Superman go, uh, is she with you? I thought she was with you. And then it's the three of them all standing together in one epic shot. However, what I didn't like was the look of Doomsday. When Doomsday just appears out of nowhere, you know, you hear that roar and I was like, oh, this is cool. And then you see him fall down through that building, just like, boom, make his entrance. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And then when you see the look on him, yeah. The look on Doomsday, he looks pretty shitty to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I saw that this trailer was three minutes, I was honestly very hesitant on whether I should watch it or not. Because honestly, that Comic Con trailer, which once again, so epic, love that so much. That was honestly enough for me to get excited for the movie. I didn't need to see any more trailers. And then after seeing this trailer, which was three minutes long, yeah, I actually wish part of me just skipped down this trailer. But I did watch it just to see a little bit more of Bruce and Clark Kent, and so I could actually do a trailer review for this movie as well. 
So, yes, it's an okay trailer. It has cool moments, like with the Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent banter. Some of the Superman and Batman sequences, those look really nice. The very last shot with Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman. And some of the visuals looked really good, but the trailer is really poorly edited. It's really poorly executed. I would cringe whenever Luther came on screen in the trailer. Doomsday looks pretty horrible. So, yeah, the trailer was honestly very disappointing. And it's for Batman v Superman. How does the trailer for Batman v Superman just become so disappointing? If you guys just recently saw my top 10 anticipated movies of 2016 video that I did with WWE fan 0599, I put this movie in my number 5 spot for my anticipated movies for 2016, my top 10, and it is still number five, and it will stay in that spot. So I'm still excited for this movie. Just this trailer really did not do the movie justice, but oh well, I always have the Comic-Con trailer to get me excited for Batman v Superman. So that's my trailer review for Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, the second trailer, three minutes long. And yeah, I think they could have cut out at least maybe like a good 30 to 45 seconds of this trailer, to be honest. It did not need to be three minutes long. Comment down below and let me know what did you think of the second trailer for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Batman v Superman, yeah!